How to send push notification using WordPress. Easy tutorial for beginners. Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm giving you a tutorial on how to send push notifications using WordPress website. So let's get started. First, what you guys need to do is you will open up your WordPress website and you'll get to the dashboard right here. Let's say that you have a website and you run a business, you need to send push notifications. So we can add that plugin to our WordPress. Once you get to the dashboard, scroll down to the plugin section in plugins click on add new so right here we can add a plugin you need to search for push notifications so you will get a lot of different plugins the first two are actually the ones that i have personally used you can see we have web push notification web pusher faster growing and lightweight plugin for web push notifications it has 10,000 active installations compatible with my wordpress version then we have one signal web push it has 100,000 active installation and is compatible so what i'm going to do is i'm going to download this one one signal so you just have to click on install now and it will just take a second to install after that, we will click on activate. So the plugin is added. One signal is one of the most famous push notification plugin available for WordPress. We need to create an account on this platform. So I'm just going to open it up. Click on get started for now. You can sign up with Google account. Enter some of the details. Select why you will be using one signal. And it will take you to your main dashboard. Now, this is where I will create my push notifications. I will set it up and then we will simply add it to our WordPress. So we have completed the first step. Now you can see create a web push in one signal and then we will add it to our, you know, simply to our WordPress. So let's create it. Once you get to the main dashboard, now we can set it up. All right. First of all, we have to select email. You have to select an email provider. What we will do is you can select one signal for it or you can also add other email uh, for your business. For example, you have a business on MailChimp and you have all of your subscribers and all of your customers added in your MailChimp. So you can add it to your one signal. The integration is available. Similarly, if you have all of the list on your in your SendGrid, the people uh, to whom you want to send the web notification to or you can use signals. I'm going to go with one signal and continue moving on we have sms click on sms right here and when we will be sending sms of course we will have to add from where one signal will be getting the sms's from so here you have to enter your account as id you can add your token so there is a platform known as twilio or twilio which is a very good platform to generate sms's and what you can do is you can integrate it with your one signal to actually get an account as id and account token so you will enter the information right here and this is going to be your sms provider Moving on, we have all browsers. Now, where you want to actually add your web notifications because you have a website and that's where you want to add. So I'm going to select WordPress plugin from here. We're going to select WordPress again. There are other as well. You can see Blogger, Wix and Joomla, but we're going to go for WordPress. Here we have to enter our site name, site URL. So that's what I'm going to do. Let's just copy and paste our site name and site URL. This is where you will enter your WordPress site setup. You will enter your name. Default icon URL can also be uploaded right here. Auto resubscribe option is enabled or disabled. It is according to you. We have advanced push notification options that we can actually set here. Click on save and your website will be added to one signal. So now you have your SMS provider. Now you have your email provider added. You have added your website. So you are actually setting up and you're ready to actually send push notification. Then you can also select a native app or a platform. So this is actually pretty impressive about one signal that we can select the native app platforms as well so you can select apple ios google android huawei android that we have windows amazon fire mac os or google comms and extensions so you will enter all of the platforms right here and it will allow you to create web notification click on the messaging option right here create a new message now so i'm going to create a new push notification first select the audience add your message name so the message name is going to be a welcome notification 
audience select the audience message add languages i'm going to add almost all the languages or we can select the native language so it's going to be english or any and we can select one from here all right title so the title for my web push notification this is what it will look like so the title is going to be welcome so you will enter the message right here this is going to be my message but you can enter like maybe there's an error maybe you want them to do something on the website then you can enter it right here then we have image launch url platform setting this is the settings that we did in advance because these are important settings and i wanted to show you how to set it up then we have advanced setting in advanced settings we have collapse id a web push topic priority normal or high time to leave so we have this one right here additional data then we have others so you can actually time to live so you will select if it's going to be three days two days whenever you want to get live on the different websites then we have delivery schedule. So you can select all of these different methods, especially the platforms that I showed you. And then set up the advanced options. Click on review and send. And this will be sent as a web note. So this is what it looks like. They will be able to, you know, close it this way. And this is what it looked like. You can also add an image if you want. You can also upload a launch URL. So this is what it will look like. This is how you can create web push notifications using one signal it is now added to my wordpress website as well it will be generated through it so if i publish my website and i go to my page then you will be able to see this web push notification right here so this is how it is and what we can do now is we can create as many web push notifications as we want for different purposes we can also create one for a b split testing and we can send test push as well to just see how it looks so if i click on send test push then it will be sent so yeah guys this is how you can go ahead and create a web push notification it's actually really easy to do you can just go to the message section go to push and create a new message to send to your wordpress website that you have added on one signal so yeah guys this brings us to the end of the video i hope that i was a big help to you and now you know everything that you wanted to know and don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if this tutorial was a big help to you i tried to do everything about the topic and i hope that you understood everything and now you are good to go and don't forget to uh, share this video with your friends and family members so they can also get the information they want to also you can subscribe to the youtube channel the button will be given right down below go ahead and subscribe to the youtube channel also hit the notification bell so every time you get notified when we post a video so yeah also leave a comment down below what was your favorite part and what did you learn from this video or if you have any question